What's going on, y'all? My name is Dominion. This is Minion Training. Today we have a lower body pre-workout routine for you. You better get into your workout, but you gotta do this routine because you wanna be loose, you wanna be stretched out, you wanna maximize your workout, and you wanna prevent injury, right? So let's get into the workout. So real quick, we're gonna start with a hip rotation. So bend your knees, have a slight bend in your knees. We're gonna start with a nice hip rotation. This may feel a little weird for y'all, especially the fellas, if you're in the gym, but just bear with me. Um, you know, if you're gonna squat, you're gonna do some dumbbell movement, some hip hinges. You, you gotta, you gotta get the, the hips nice and loose, right? So as I'm progressing the rotation, see how I'm, the rotation is getting wider, right? So as I'm prolonging the workout, the rotation is getting nice and wide. You should start to feel that hip flexor move from the left to the right socket, all right? And then we're gonna go into the opposite direction, go into the opposite direction. Breathe, breathe. Good. Get a few reps, clockwise, and a few reps counterclockwise nice from there i'm going to open up my feet a bit more now my my feet placement is wider so my hips actually have a bit more range of motion to work with right so still keep that you know little bend in the knees and i'm going to go into that rotation squeeze the glutes as you're pushing forward and the core right we want the core and the glutes to mobilize the hips we don't want the hips to to um, initiate the tension right we just want them to expand and decompress right same thing, get a few reps clockwise, and then let's go counterclockwise. <sighs> Starting to feel really good on the hips, right? You want to lubricate the pelvic area. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, from here, we're going to get into a deep squat, right? So get back to about shoulder width, right? Get into a deep squat. Notice how my feet are nice and flat on the ground, right? I don't want to be on my toes. I don't want to be arching my feet. I want to be nice and flat allowing those hips to expand. Place your arms on the inside of my knees. As I breathe, I want to open up those arms. You can reprieve yourself. All right, shake your legs out just a little bit. Shake your legs out. Let's get back into it for one more set. Nice and flat on those feet. Breathe, breathe. Open up the arms. Nice, nice. Okay, let's come back up. All right, so I want to get back to that wide position here. All right, I'm going to lean to the left side. We're going to get into a Cossack squat, right? So this is going to be great for the quads and the opposite hamstring, right? So I'm going to go back to that Cossack squat. I really want to keep my chest, oops, keep my chest nice and ooh, vertical. You should feel a nice stretch in that hamstring. It's going to pop. That's normal, all right? So I still want to maintain this flat position on this opposite foot. See how it's nice and flat? I want to keep my chest as vertical as possible. Get a few breaths in here good and i'm going to come back up right so if that was really challenging right you can still come here right so even this is going to be a pretty good stretch here really use your arms for some support right use your arms for support if you need to put this back hand this left hand on the opposite side you're more than welcome to you're going to get a nice stretch in your knees and that patella as well but i would strongly suggest that you want to progress to having both arms in front right or flat on that feet all that weight is pressing on the hips so it's expanding and opening up that that um, hamstring, all right? <sighs> Breathe. Whew. I'm gonna do that only one time because that feels super good on the hips, quads, and hamstrings, right? To make our way to the floor. So we're gonna get to the floor, get to the floor. Whew. We're gonna start with a child's pose, right? I'm gonna sit back on my glutes again, getting the deeper stretch in the quads and the knees and the ankles, right? A lot of people, especially if you're do gonna do a leg day, right? If you're gonna do uh, especially if you're a moderate to, to advanced person who goes to the gym or, or frequently, frequently strength trains, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna squat. You're gonna do some version of a barbell squat or dumbbell squat. A lot of that is hip, knee, and ankle mobility, right? It's not even maybe like, oh, I'm not that strong. Like when you're getting down into that squat, like even if you're 90 degrees, it still involves a lot of ankle mobility, right? And if you really, if you're, you know, that conventional, you know, butt to the floor, um, Ask the grass type of type of lift. Excuse my French. This is all ankles. I feel this in my ankles. So if your ankles are immobile and they're stiff, you won't be able to actually maximize that full range of motion, right? So hence why we're going to involve this child's pose, right? I feel that in my ankles, put in my knees, my quads. So I'm getting that child's pose. Also going to get a nice stretch in the back, right? The back is going to be able to withstand a lot of that tension. The bugs out here are crazy. Guys, I'm sorry if I keep hearing me slap and they just love this this minion training blood. It's crazy. Um, so I'm getting back in that child's pose. I'm going to come out that child's pose. I'm going to get that left leg, place it in between both arms, right? 
in between both arms. Again, back to that hamstring, right? We're going to probably do some RDL, some hamstring curls. You want to loosen up that hamstring. This is a quick warm up, quick warm up before the gym. Nothing more than 10 minutes to maximize your workout. From here, you want to start to mobilize that ankle even more. See, we're going back to that ankle mobilization. A few reps clockwise, a few reps counterclockwise. You should also feel the stretch in that calf as you start to mobilize this ankle. Go up and back, forward and backwards, and left and right. I feel that in my calf, my hamstring. And really try to aim that forehead towards the knee. Awesome. And let's switch to the other leg. Same thing. Get a nice stretch in the hamstring. After a few seconds, start to mobilize that ankle, that heel. Clockwise, counterclockwise, up and down, left and right. And then try to really aim that forehead. Whew, feel all of that right here, all of that. Whew, and breathe and breathe. Nice job, nice job. Okay, let's gonna go back into a camel. We're almost done, almost done. We're gonna get back into our camel, right? Get back into our camel. So we're gonna place our fingertips behind our um, heels. This is level one. I like to call this level one. You can just lean your neck back and chill. You should, you're going to feel a nice stretch in the, in the forearms, biceps, and shoulders as well. All right. But obviously, I feel a lot of this in my ankles, knees, and quads. Level two, you're going to push your hips up. It's going to deepen that stretch in the quads. Right? So you're going to deepen that stretch in the quads. Level three, you're going to come all the way down, nice and slow. Really deep extension here in the quads and the knees, right? Oh. And the ankles. And come back up. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. All right, let's get transition to our butts. Transition to our butts. We're going to get into our glute stretch, right? So even for the fellas, like when you're squatting, when you're doing lunges, you, your glutes are going to be incorporated, right? So let's cross that left leg over. Cross that leg, the left leg over. Hug. Hug this um, this uh, leg, this knee to the chest. You're going to feel a nice stretch in that left glute. I'm going to hug it. I'm going to breathe. Just get a nice stretch, right? Feeling really nice stretch in the glute. And then we're gonna switch, right? We're gonna switch. We're gonna come here, again, hug that knee, hug this right knee to my chest. Again, that stretch is gonna be in the right glute now. <sighs> breathe, breathe. <sighs> nice, we're gonna go into a 90, 90 stretch. Now we're gonna have more mobilization of the hips, right? So really keep that upper body nice and vertical. Open up here, <sighs> breathe. See, I'm not moving the ankles. The ankles are staying exactly where they are. I don't want to move the ankles, right? Mobilizing those, those hips, excuse me. Nice. Good job. Now we're going to finish off with a pigeon stretch, right? So we're going to come back into this tabletop. We're going to take that left leg. We're going to place it adjacent to that, that left foot, I'm sorry, adjacent to that right hand. You're gonna bring that left knee all the way down. You're gonna extend. You're gonna extend that right leg, right? I'm extending that right leg. Now, you should feel this in the glute, right? You're gonna feel this in glute and the hips. I'm gonna call, walk forward. I'm gonna walk forward. I'm gonna breathe, right? I'm gonna breathe. Feel that all in the glute. And for, you know, added, this is like moderate, but even if beginners can do this, just take both hands, cross that, that right hand, cross that left knee. Now we're getting a lower back stretch, right? If you're squatting, you're going to want to make sure your lower back is nice and loose, right? You can even fall down here and get a deeper stretch in that lower back. Breathe. Awesome. Let's come out of it now. Come back to that tabletop. Let's get into a cat cow. Let's get into a cat cow. Again, mobilizing the entirety of our back. Inhale as we expand. Exhale as we collapse. Get a few reps on that cat cow. This is really good. Really hit the entire posterior chain here. Posterior chain is all the muscles in the back of your body. <laughs> like, what is that? All right, take that right foot now, that right foot adjacent next to that left hand. Bring that right knee down into our right pigeon now. Extend that back leg, that left leg. Let's bring our weight forward. Again, you should feel that stretch in that right glute all the way through that, that right leg, actually, that right thigh a little bit. Breathe. Good. Come back up. Take that left hand. We're going to block that right knee. Block that right knee over. If you want to get more intense, you can fall down that lower back. Oh, really deep on that lower back here. Awesome, awesome. There we have it. That was really quick. I have no idea how long that was. 
but I know it wasn't more than 10 minutes, right? So do this nice pre-workout, pre-leg workout routine. My legs are nice and loose. You get into your gym workout, you're going to have an amazing workout. Please like, share, subscribe, share this to your friends, share this to people who are just getting into work, to, to working out. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>